For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. Hi everyone, in this video we are sharing our travels to New Jersey to enjoy Halloween with family. Then we ventured down to Florida to spend the holidays with more family, then traveled back to New Jersey for Christmas, then back to Florida until the end of February. As we have shared previously, we picked up our new outdoors travel trailer in Oregon in July. We were excited to get back to Florida to get more of our things from our storage unit, pick up our new electric bikes, and install our new solar system. I will provide a link in this video to Joe's video where he explains his installation of our new solar system. It is great to have this solar installed. I love being able to run my Instapot and blow dryer with no worries when not being plugged into shore power. We are also going to share the 10 campgrounds we visited while in New Jersey and Florida. Florida campgrounds are very busy during the winter months and Joe made our reservations at these campgrounds a year in advance in order for us to stay 14 days at most of the campgrounds. Well, there's Rhonda's electric bike in the box. Our Christmas presents to ourselves were the electric bikes. We chose the black for Joe and the white for Rhonda, both of the step-through models with the comfort seats. These are our first electric bikes and so far we love them. I had no idea what I was missing with the pedal assist and the throttle. To carry the bikes, we decided on the Yakima bike rack. We just got this new bike rack and Joe is installing it on the back of the RV. We are hopeful that it's going to carry our two new electric bikes. The electric bikes weigh about 65 pounds each and our thoughts were that we would roll the bikes up the ramp when loading them. This did not work out so well and we ended up lifting them up and placing them on the ramp. So far they are traveling really well on the back of the travel trailer. We also bought a rainproof cover to keep them out of the rain and protect them while they are stored on the back. The first campground we visited while visiting with Joe's mom in October was Old Cedar Campground in New Jersey. We had been to this campground before. The campground is family oriented and decorates and has a fun Halloween haunted tour. One of the places I like to walk is near Cooper's Hospital. It is a congested area but there are walking trails and some nice statues along the road. Our first campground in Florida we visited was Anastasia State Park located in St. Augustine, Florida. We stayed for 14 days and this is one of our favorite parks. The park is full of large oak trees and is close to downtown St. Augustine so you can bike over to the historic area. There's a farmer's market on the weekend and we got some great fresh foods. It did rain quite a bit while we were there and some flooding occurred. The campground is nice and high and there is no flooding issues in the campground. You can see some of the flooding from all the rain. That is the path that leads to the beach. You really can't get there without going through all that water. St. Augustine at Anastasia Island State Park and we walked, I don't know, a little over a mile down the beach from the campground entrance and uh, not a lot of people here. A special treat for us was when our daughter and her partner visited us in St. Augustine. As you can see, the streets were a bit flooded the day we visited. We talked with a few of the local residents and they said that this happens frequently when it rains in the area. We were there in November, a few weeks before Thanksgiving, and it was very crowded. Unfortunately, we think our truck was hit while we were visiting there. Yuck. 
We did not let the flooding or the truck incident spoil our fun. We toured the area, had fun shopping, eating, and touring the lighthouse. St. Augustine is a great historic town with lots to do, and if you have not been there, it is a must. Payne's Prairie State Park is located near Gainesville, Florida and is a large state park. We have been there a few times and we stayed 14 days on this trip. It's very close to my sisters and and a convenient place close to family. Campsite 17 is pretty nice. We got this whole little area for parking. Uh, We've been really busy here so we didn't do too much extracurricular stuff, just working on the solar system. See the panel up there. I've put a link to our previous videos for more information about this park. Number four is Fort Clinch State Park located in Fernandina Beach, Florida. Well, here we are at Fort Clinch State Park. The beach is beautiful today. It's about 75 degrees and the tide's out, so the beach is nice and wide right now. We walked up to the park boundary. Now we're gonna head back. Very good day. We're on a bike ride this afternoon. We're at Fernandina Beach at Wow, it's Fort so Clinch glory. State Park. But, yeah, and um, it's in the afternoon. We usually ride our bikes in the morning, but we're doing it this afternoon today. As you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful, clear day. We've been here about nine nights. Um, everything's gone really good. It's been really nice weather. We've had rain one day, but the average temperatures have been around 70 degrees. Daytime. Daytime, yep. Nighttime, Nights of, 60, yeah. 55. 55, 60 at night. We actually have had to run the air conditioner. We're in the beachside campground, and it's um, not shaded at all. It's totally out in the sun. So this is a nice time to be here. I really would not want to be here in the summertime. I'm sure it is really hot in this particular campground. Number five is Wakiwa Spring State Park near Apopka, Florida. While at this park near Orlando, we left our travel trailer for the first time and flew to New Jersey the week before Christmas. Everything went very smoothly. We were so glad we chose the weekend before Christmas to fly to New Jersey because the week of Christmas was chaotic with canceled flights and the high cost of airfare. When we got back, we spent Christmas with our daughter and her partner. Again, we did not do much sightseeing in the park. This is a link to our previous video to get more information about Wakiva State Park. Mayaka River State Park is one of our favorite parks in Florida. We stayed there 14 nights. One of the main features are the many alligators that live in the park, and they range from very old to very young. The boat ride is a popular way to see the alligators, although in January, while we were there, the lake was low and the alligators stayed under the water to keep warm. I'm out for a walk this morning. I'm going over to the canopy at Mayaka River State Park. Bird watching from this boardwalk is a favorite thing to do while visiting the park. The park is large and the best way to see the park is on bikes. We loved having our electric bikes. We did a 12 mile bike ride throughout the park many days and stopped to take pictures of the beautiful birds.
If you have watched our previous videos, you know that we love to hike. There are many hiking trails throughout the park and we enjoy touring the area on foot. Here we are at Mayaka River State Park. We're on the Mossy Hammock Trail. We're heading back to our truck. Um, this is a really pretty part of the trail. It's in the shade. The trail goes along a creek that was mostly dried up this time of year. Um, it goes through this really sunny, grassy spot. Um, we just got out of that, so we're a little tired and hot. But um, it's a nice trail. You just have to be careful. Lots and lots of roots and the um, hogs have really um, ripped up the trail in quite a few places. Hillsborough River State Park is located near Tampa, Florida, and this was our first time that we had visited the park. While we were there, we visited the Hard Rock Cafe Casino with my sister and other friends. We're here at Hillsborough River State Park. We're doing a trail that goes along the river. Oh, the river's pretty calm. Looks like it'd be a nice place to kayak or canoe, whatever you'd want to do. It's probably about 73 degrees today, pretty nice. And um, we're gonna be at this campground for about 11 days. And we're looking forward to just relaxing and enjoying the peacefulness of it. It's Hillsborough River. Another day, our daughter and her partner came over and we celebrated Rachel's birthday. It was a wonderful day. We had a fire, made s'mores, and went on a hike. Unfortunately, we did not take any pictures because we were just enjoying the day too much. We met up with my sister and friends another day at the Tampa Bay RV Show. Again, no pictures, but we did enjoy visiting and touring the many different RVs. I was excited to get our wood sign made. Joe was excited to compare our outdoors travel trailer to other travel trailers on the lot, and he was very happy with our decision to purchase our new outdoors travel trailer. Number eight is Stephen Foster Folk Cultural Center State Park, located in White Springs, Florida. This is a familiar area for us because we lived in White Springs for a while. This was our most relaxing park. We had a large campsite and my sister Angie came over to visit with her grandchildren. We took a long walk and played with the kids in the park. This is the Suwannee River. I just love the dark color of the river and the way the banks look kind of orangey when it comes up to the water. We're on one of the Florida trails that leads from the park. We're on our way back. There's a big island there in the middle of the river, and the river runs along each side of it. It's pretty wide right here. We also did some errands while in the area. Earlier I mentioned our truck was hit and we got the bumper repaired while there. We also used our electric bikes and rode over to Big Shoal State Park. There is a beautiful paved biking path that is easily accessible through the town. Another day we visited Kirby Family Farms located in Williston, Florida. We attended the Six Gun Territory event where the Old West was displayed with, with gunfights, train rides, and music. We ended the day with great food from Bubba's Barbecue in Williston, Florida. Our ninth campground was Ocean Pond, located near Lake City, Florida, in the Osceola National Forest. We have been here before and we really like this campground. The sites are large and the lake is beautiful.
There was very little traffic in the area, so we were able to do some hiking, and we rode our bikes over to the park where there is a large Civil War reenactment each year. Catherine Abbey Hannah Park was our last stop in Florida. This is a beautiful city park located on Jacksonville Beach. We enjoyed a relaxing time and visited with two of my very good friends for the day. We had a wonderful time in Florida and New Jersey over the holidays. We hope you enjoyed this video and that some of the content was useful in making your travel plans. We make these videos to share our travels with you and others and to keep track of what we've done while traveling in our RV. We're very excited as we plan our travels for the summer and fall months in the New England states. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.